Hi, welcome to the Authentic Gardening channel. Today's video is about milkweed or Latin name Asclepius after the Greek god of healing. I've been growing it here in my flower bed in Northern California foothills, agricultural zone 9A for four years now and I've learned a lot growing it. These exotic looking fruits like pointed prickly cucumbers are milkweed seed pods. At the end of the season, they will dry out, crack, and let out a good amount of seeds, each attached to a tiny silky parachute which enables the seeds to travel. Thus, another name of the plant is silkweed or cottonweed. The silky fibers called floss are super light and water resistant. They can be used as stuffing for jackets, including lifeguard jackets and pillows, and to make cloth when mixed with other fibers. The fibers absorb oils well and one Canadian company is producing the world's only industrial crop of milkweed, which will be used as new kind of natural, low-cost absorbent in cleaning up oil spills. And since we are talking now about milkweed's fibers potential for industrial uses, the quality of its inner bark, called bast, is reported to be as good as flax, and its yields could be as high as hemp. Both fibers, the bast and the floss, were used by Native Americans for making ties, ropes, and textiles. Some of the milkweed species have a history of medicinal use. For example, the species that I grow called common milkweed can be used to remove warts and help with lung diseases. If you are a foraging enthusiast, You'd be happy to know that young green shoots, flower buds, and young milkweed seed pods are reported to be edible after being boiled. Frankly, I've never tried to eat them, so I have no first-hand experience. Milkweed produces thick, white, milk-like juice, the reason for its name. This juice contains some poisonous to cattle substances. So if you're not absolutely sure what you're doing, eat some other, safer, and even maybe tastier plants. Leave milkweed to a huge variety of pollinators who will be coming to your garden in drones during its flowering. My milkweed plants are always prolific bloomers and they're full of bees, feeding off the nectar the flowers produce in abundance. And the fragrance. Oh, it's so delicious. I love coming to my garden to that exquisite fragrance and the delicate beauty of milkweed flowers, to the peaceful hum of industrious honeybees. And finally, butterflies. There is a reason why one species of milkweed, Asclepius tuberose, is called the butterfly weed. Probably monarch butterflies are the whole reason you are watching this video. Monarch butterflies at the larva stage, the caterpillars of monarch butterflies, feed exclusively on milkweed leaves. Without milkweed, the larva would not be able to develop into a butterfly. In the past 20 years, the monarch butterfly population has declined about 80%. Planting milkweed contributes to the conservation of this beautiful butterfly. I do see various butterflies come to the flowers and drink nectar. Unfortunately, in four years of growing the plant, I don't remember seeing a monarch butterfly on it or anywhere close to it. My story with monarchs is an opposite extreme from what my Florida friend told me, that he could never grow milkweed because the butterfly caterpillars 
would eat the plant to the ground every time he tried growing it. Milkweed grows easily from fresh seeds, sown directly into soil in autumn, winter, or early spring. That's how I grew mine, from seeds picked in autumn in someone else's garden. Stored seeds might need cold certification. Keeping them in the fridge for two, three weeks prior to sowing would do the trick. Milkweed spreads rather aggressively by rhizomes or underground shoots. Similar to mint, it can become very invasive under right conditions. Watch out for that and choose a spot for it away from less aggressive plants. Even though milkweed resents root disturbance, it can be propagated in spring by separating clumps of roots and rhizome shoots. Milkweed is a perennial plant. The above ground part of the plant dies off in winter and the roots send out new shoots in early spring. My plants did not bloom for the first year, but starting in their second year, they've been blooming reliably and abundantly. Common milkweed is a member of the vast milkweed family. It is one of about 115 species native to the Americas. Common milkweed grows naturally and can be cultivated in agricultural zones 4 to 9. It loves full sun and good garden soil. And if it loves the spot you'll give it, you'll know it soon as the plant will start to spread really fast. And then, one day hopefully, you will see elegant monarch butterflies visiting your garden, all because you made an effort to grow milkweed. Thank you for watching. I hope you are as addicted to gardening as I am. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you can find us later easily and browse all sorts of videos about plants and gardening.